you, God. Lord, you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Bless him, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. I don't keep everybody too long today, but um, I have a couple things to say. And a lot of it is going to be, and I'm, I'm, I want to say I thank everybody for coming out. I thank all my aunts and uncles and family members, and cousins, uh, my dad, and my mother. Uh, it's good to see Junebug out here. I love you, man. man. It's good to see my uncle. Love you too, man. It's good to see all y'all out here today. Um, because y'all didn't have to come out here today. Um, but this message is going to be largely centered around my father. And I tried to warn him about this. Um, Make sure y'all all right. Come on, Bridget. Uh, but it's, 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 it's going to be a lot about him. And, and it's not that it's a bad thing. It's that as I have grown older and I have learned my habits and my thought process and, and how I do things, it's that I am him. Many ways. Many ways. So as far as uh, the things that I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about the differentiation between knowledge, intelligence, and wisdom. Right. Come on. Come on. And, um, Come on. Come on. I'll be speaking from Proverbs 2, uh, 1 through 11. If you care to read along with me, I mean, everybody can relax. You don't have to stand up right now. You can just relax. I'm just going to read it to you. And it says, uh, My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He, keep he keepeth the path of judgment and preserveth the ways of his saints. Mm -hmm. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity, yea, every good path. When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. Yeah. Yeah. And I've read Proverbs 2, 1 through 11. Amen. 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 Lord um, use you. Let the Lord use you. Jesus, Jesus. When I thought about what I wanted to talk about, in this first sermon and everything that I wanted to discuss, my dad crossed my mind a lot. And I thought about a lot of terms and a lot of things that uh, would be helpful for other people, not just for me, just helpful for other people to get out. Um, it's a, I, I don't know, it's been a lengthy path. And uh, my, my pastor has been telling me, well, if it takes a year, it takes a year. It takes two years, it takes two years. Just, just make sure you're ready. And he surprised me a month ago when he was like, how about all the four? And I was just like, oh man, hey, you put a number on this. <laughs> this is really unnecessary. But the, the, the three things that I mentioned that I would like to discuss, the first one is knowledge. Facts, information, it's defined as facts, information, and skills acquired by a person through experience or education, the theoretical or practical understanding of a subject. Yeah. Knowledge. Knowledge. The acquisition of knowledge. And in the context of what we're talking about, the only way to acquire any sort of knowledge as it comes to God, is 
to read the word. That's it. You have to read the word. You have to look at it, and you have to develop. You and, and sometimes you have to read it twice. Sometimes you have to read it three yeah. times yeah. Yeah. to yeah. understand what it is that you're going to understand. Yeah. But the only way to gain knowledge is study. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Preach. That's good. Preach that. And. You know, a lot of us go through our weeks and months and everything without study. You um, are. I mean, I, I know that, you know, you're not sometimes. I get busy with work at, at my law firm and I'm, I'm doing things and the Bible might be the furthest thing from what I'm thinking about because I'm trying to make sure I get this covered, this case covered, that case covered. But the only way to acquire knowledge is through study. Yeah. There's no other way. Come on, come on. And as I told you all, this message is about my father, and as much as I hate to admit it, he knows the Bible forwards and backwards. He has more knowledge than me. I would never tell him that alone. <laughs> but he knows, he knows the Bible forwards and backwards. He knows more than I. He's forgotten more than I will ever learn. And he got that knowledge. I don't know when, but he got it through study. Yeah, yeah. And that's Amen. what we all have to strive to do. Yeah. To study, to yeah. learn God's word. We yeah. got to study. And the second point that I was mentioning was um, intelligence. Um, intelligence is the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. Now that one is a little bit more difficult than knowledge. Knowledge is something that we can all memorize. <coughs> we can learn knowledge. We can memorize facts. We can acquire things in our mind and we can recall them. Right. That's right. knowledge. That's not. Mm -hmm. Come on. Um, intelligence. Intelligence is, is, is application. Learn. Right. Come on, come on. Um, it's, it's taking the things that you have acquired right. in your mind and applying them yeah. to what it is that you're doing. In That's your life. good, preacher. Yeah. And in this lesson, when when the Bible says, He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous, He is a buckler to them that walk upright, uprightly. He keepeth the path of judgment and preserveth the way of His saints. Then shalt thou understand righteous and judgment and equity, yea, every good path. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That is the application of intelligence. All right. That is him saying, look, when I teach you things, when I give you the knowledge and you insert the intelligence with what I'm giving you, that's when you can walk your path. Yeah, right? That's when you can do what it is that I have for you to do. Uh -huh. It's not as simple as, okay, well, you learn this or you learn that, and you know it now. But it also is, I will apply. you have to apply it through intelligence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know that's a difficult, that's the difficult part. Um, it's, it's very difficult to just study God and then apply it, but that's the only way for any solution to happen. Yes, sir. And I'm sorry if this is not a rah-rah message, but it's a, Go ahead. It's a necessary you. message. Yes, it is. Go ahead. It's good. It's good. Go ahead. But the intelligence Teach. part of it is... Teach. And, and even at the end, when he said, Dis discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. Uh -huh. Right. Right. And, and in my mind, that means that he's saying, number one, I'm watching you. Number two... You know when you're doing wrong, you know when you're doing right. Uh -huh. Right, right. And the only way to be kept is exercising proper discretion. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Do what you gotta do. Take care of business. Yes, sir. We all gotta take care of business. All right. I gotta take care of business. I'm the same way as everybody else. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And and don't get me wrong, my heart is melting right now because I'm looking out, I'm seeing my Aunt Ruby, I'm seeing my mother. I'm seeing my dad and this message about him, which when we get to wisdom, that's going to be the part that's going to be about him, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's, 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 it's a great thing to see everybody here, yeah. but I think that as we go forward and we continue to be a community and 
and live our lives, it's, it's important to me that we apply all these things. Yeah, yeah, that's, right. that's good, that's good. That's good. Um, as, as we are, we are a community and we are a family. And we gotta we gotta do what it, we have to do to protect each other. Yeah, amen. Now wisdom, and I'm sorry because I'm not gonna be as long winded as Reverend Bogus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wisdom is defined as the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. The quality of being wise. An alternative de um, definition is the soundness of an action or decision with regard to the application of experience, knowledge, and good judgment. Mm -hmm. Now, I mentioned wisdom because I had to learn the hard way that, and I thought about my earthly father because I was thinking about my heavenly father. And the pastor has talked several times about, um, you know, us seeking to be, I guess, as good as we can be, but we're never going to reach that destination. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. right. It just won't happen. And when I started researching and looking at things into um, the verses that I've read to you and wisdom, I had to submit to, as far as wisdom goes, I can never catch my father. I can never catch him. Yeah. He has more experience in so many more areas than I've ever had. I can never catch him. I'm always going to want to catch him. And I know me and him go back and forth about a thousand things. And, it, I mean, I've never told him this, but my dad is my best friend. Amen. He's my best friend by far. Me and him talk about everything. We talk all the time. We... I mean, we bicker, we we fight, we argue, but then when whenever he gets mad and he wants to well, wants us to you know kind of be cool, he'll be like, "Hey, do you want a chicken strip basket?" <laughs> <laughs> but we are tight. But I got to a point where I realized that I will never be as smart as him. I will never have the wisdom that he has. And when I read this set of verses, I realized that God is pulling us to learn more. Amen. And there's always something for us to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we learn through each other. We learn through, obviously, we learn through scripture. We learn through friendship. We learn through family. We learn through love. And as far as I'm concerned, I think that we have compartmentalized everything so much so that we don't reach out to each other, we don't talk to each other, we don't spend time with each other like we should. That's right. We don't hang out like we should. Uh, we'll talk to other people about each other, but we won't talk to each other about yeah. each other. Come on now. Go ahead. And I think we're at a place now where we could be, you know, especially as a black community, we could be more powerful than, than what it is that we are if we just reach out to each other. Yeah. Be wise. Be wise. And, you know, I'm, I'm praying that through wisdom, which I'm trying to gain, that we can go back to what it used to be. Because I hear stories about when my grandparents or my dad, when they had church, they didn't just have church. They had church, then they had a fish fry, then yeah. they had a, yeah, they, they, were, they were there all day, hanging out. We don't do that anymore. And they have the wisdom, so they knew through that, that's how our community could strive. Amen. And we don't do that anymore. We refuse to do that. And I think that that's a disconnect from God. From God. As far as how we we do things now, That's I'm not right. saying we gotta have a a picnic every Sunday, but I'm saying they did it a better way than we do. We're doing it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's wisdom, yes, sir. Come on. And that's the that's the wisdom that I'm talking about, and that's the wisdom that I hope to get one day. That's the wisdom that I see through my dad that I know I don't have. And don't worry, after this, he'll remind me about his wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I wanted to put that out there. 
please, as you go forward, apply all three of those things in your study. Amen. Apply the acquisition of knowledge, apply the use of intelligence, and in doing so, gain wisdom. And as you try to be a body of Christ for us, just uh, you, you have to use all three. They don't work separately. Um, but that's all I have to say. I don't have much else to say. You know, we got with chair this in the end, amen. Yeah, we thank God, amen. Knowledge, intelligence, and wisdom, amen. amen. Three key things that we all need.